In this video, I'll compare the best tools for Amazon KDP. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Sean and I built a multiple six figure KDP business which I eventually sold for $820,000 and now I am building my second KDP account. So if you want no BS publishing advice from someone who's actually doing it, then make sure to subscribe. So in this video, I wanna do a comparison of the top four publishing tools uh, that people use and recommend. And uh, I wanna kinda of tell you which one is the best for what kind of people because there are a lot of KDP tools out there. There are new ones popping up every single month. And a lot of people ask me which one is the best. So I wanna go and show you the four best ones, okay? I'm gonna sh show you how it works and then kind of give you my thoughts on which one I think is best. So uh, let's get right into the video. All right, let's start with BookBolt. So BookBolt is a very, very popular tool. Uh, and this is more so for low content books. So if you do low content, medium content books, then BookBolt might be a good tool for you. Essentially, there's two uh, separate categories within the tool. You have the keyword research, the niche research side, as well as the actual book creation side. So starting with the research side, there are a ton of different features uh, that you can use. I can't really show you every single one because the video is gonna be super long, but uh, some of the really useful ones are like something like this, the cloud. Uh, cloud is very, very useful because you can go and enter parameters uh, that you want to check and it'll spit out a bunch of different book ideas for you. So let's say you want to look at the top 100 bestsellers in the category of journals because you're trying to make journals, okay? And for the BSR range, uh, let's reduce this to 100,000 uh, because we don't want to check anything that is not selling as much and for the price range i guess we can just keep it at let's say uh 18 dollars or so and from here you can filter even more by adding additional keywords to it but if you just click on search here it'll give you all these different books that basically fits the parameters that we just entered so these are all journals uh under ninety six thousand bsr okay within the price range and you can see all these data so if you find books like these that is selling really well and let's say their reviews are low you know all of these are, their reviews are really really high but let's say we find something with very low reviews uh like this one right here this is a burn book after writing journal okay so it is fifty three thousand bsr okay and sorry, the BSR right now is actually 3,420. The average BSR was 53,000 uh, the past 30 days. But, and it only has 10 reviews and the average review is 4.2. So this is a very good sign that this is a very profitable keyword. You still have to check for trademarks. Uh, that's something you have to do. But that is how you can get a bunch of different ideas on you know, low content books that you can go and publish. So that is the research side of BookBolt, and you can also go to create these books as well. So this is the BookBolt uh, Creator Studio, and it's very, very cool. So you basically have different, you know, paper types or book types that you can create. We got the paperback, cover and interior, hardcover. So let's just say we want to create a paperback and a cover and an interior, okay? Project name, uh, let's do YouTube. And let's say the trim size is six by nine and black and white uh, interior with 50 pages. You want your book probably longer than this, uh, but just as an example for this video, I'm gonna put 50 pages here. And from here, right, it's super cool because every single page you can customize uh, with different elements here that you can add, uh, such as the shapes, text, uh, you can upload images as well. But the coolest part about this is when you go here, you can basically add any low content interior templates, such as journal graphs. Uh, you can do, you know, if you wanna have a handwriting paper book right you can choose to add it just for one page or you can choose to add it in all the pages within the interior so let's just say i only want this interior at page one okay and you can select all the margin uh, and all these settings here but we're just going to skip that and then we will generate that page right here and just like that page one we created a college handwriting uh, page so let's say page two we want something else right so page two, we're going to generate a maze, a rectangular maze. So you can choose page two or even page three, four, five, six like this. Go click next. Once again, 
You can set up the margins and other settings as well. Click on submit. And just like that, we generated a maze for a couple of our pages. So that is how you can go and create a bunch of low content interior pages like this uh, super easily. And you can also obviously customize this with a text and an image and you know whatnot. So you can create a unique low content book just within BookBolt, both on the keyword research as well as the actual book creation side. So for the pricing of BookBolt, uh, you have the monthly and the yearly plan. Obviously, if you do the yearly, it's a little cheaper. Uh, it's a little less than $20 a month. Now, I do recommend you to get the yearly plan just because you have the puzzle book creation software, the one I just showed you included. And when it comes to creating puzzle books, this is one of the easiest ways uh, to create puzzle books. So I think it's pretty important to have this feature and that's why I recommend the pro, but obviously it is up to you on which one you wanna get. If you do wanna get BookBolt, I'll leave a link below this video as well as a link to all the tools that we're gonna talk about in this video. So the next one I wanna show you is Publisher Rocket. So Publisher Rocket, I've been using it for years now and Publisher Rocket actually helped me go from making $10,000 a month to $35,000 a month because of the keyword I found uh, from this keyword search uh, feature. So let me give you a quick demo here. Let's say we want to search for a ketogenic diet. Okay, you click on Go Get Him Rocket. And from here, it'll give you a bunch of different keyword ideas based on what you entered here. And you can get a lot of data by analyzing each one. So you can see the average pages, number of competitors, average price, average monthly earnings, the estimated Amazon search per month, and the competitive score. Now, this feature helped me get uh, an idea for a keyword that I never thought about. I ended up publishing on that keyword and it blew up and I made a ton of money. So that is how it helped me. But to be completely honest with you guys, the whole average monthly earning, estimated Amazon search per month and the competitive score isn't really accurate in my experience and there really isn't a way to use this data. So I would not look at that. I would personally just ignore that. And I would only use this feature to get ideas on different keywords, okay? So that is how I would use this tool. The competition analyzer, essentially it's kind of similar. You can just type in the keyword. Then you can look at you know all the data on books that are on page one for this keyword, okay? And to be completely honest with you guys, you can do the exact same thing on Amazon. You can just type the keyword in on Amazon, look at page one and get similar data. So this is something that I never use as a feature. Uh, but what makes Publisher Rocket worth it is the category search features. So there are very few tools that actually gives you a list of all the Amazon categories like Publisher Rocket. So that is what makes this worth it. Uh, but with Publisher Rocket, you can get the book category, the Kindle category, Audible category. And you guys know that you can add your book in additional categories. And if you become number one in that category, you get the orange bestseller badge. And so if you can find categories that is fairly easy to rank number one in and get the orange bestseller badge, that is huge social proof for your book and your sales will increase. So it's a legit strategy to do so. And if you don't have Publisher Rocket, it's very tricky to find all these you know, categories that you can rank your book in. So Publisher Rocket makes it very easy. You can sort it by book, Kindle Audible once again. Let's say our book is in uh, ketogenic diets. So you go to health, fitness, and dieting, check it out, and you can sort you know, from uh, sales rank on the book on the number one in the category, sales to number 10. And you can also check out the category on Amazon right here. The last one is the AMS keyword search. So this will help you with the Amazon uh, as side of things. So if you enter your keyword, it's gonna get all the Amazon search suggestions data. So these are really, really good keywords to target on your manual keyword campaign, okay? And all these other keywords right here that shows Amazon A to Z suggestions as well. And if you go down here, you will see your competitor products, a uh, competitor book showing up. So the search results type right here are all your competitor books that is ranking for the keyword you typed in, in this case, keto. So you can take this ASIN over here and target with your manual product targeting campaign so that you can target your competitors and get their traffic to buy your books. So that is a legitimate strategy and it is pretty good. So Publisher Rocket as a conclusion, I mainly use it just for the category search and sometimes the AMS keyword search function at this point. 
uh, but it is a one-time payment of I believe it's a $97 one-time payment there is no subscription and so for beginners it is a pretty good tool all right so the next tool is helium 10 so helium 10 is a very popular tool but to be completely honest with you guys this is mainly for amazon fba and it's not for amazon kdp or publishing so they have a bunch of tools here uh, but you primarily only use cerebro okay right here on the keyword research one and that's all you really need the other ones are more for fba once again and you don't have a ton of opportunity to use it but cerebro is really cool so cerebro is uh, a reverse asin search so you can basically spy on your competitors and get ideas and new keywords for both keywords to write books in as well as keywords to target with your amazon ads so let me give you an example here so if you find your competitor book you can take the asin and paste right here you can do this up to 10 different products you can go and get keywords then you get a bunch of data here uh, but it says keyword distribution it has 453 total keywords that it's ranked on okay out of that 11 sponsored keywords so that means this book is only running as to 11 keywords so it's not doing much when it comes to running amazon ads or maybe it is running ads super hard on just these 11 okay which is how you can kind of tell you know how much ads that they're running and what kind of keywords that they're targeting uh for your competitors right so you can go and spy on your competitors and it's ranking on 353 organic keywords uh and 116 amazon recommended which i have no idea what that means um but from here you can go and take a look at what uh, keywords that is ranked on and it's also very interesting here that you can see the organic rank so this book is number one on all these keywords okay and you can see how much search volume these keywords are getting so you can kind of assume where the major traffic is coming from for this book right so once again this keyword right here crossword puzzles for adults this book is ranked number one and this keyword has a search volume of 21,000 significantly higher than all these other keywords this book is ranking number one in so we can kind of assume that the majority of traffic and sales that this book is getting is from this keyword crossword puzzle books for adults so if we make a book and if we go and target a keyword do we want to target this keyword or all these other keywords that doesn't have a ton of search volume most likely we want to target the one with the most search volume so that is how we identify out of all these keywords that we can target which one is the best so cerebro is a very very good tool to identify exactly the search volume of the keyword and also what uh, keywords that your competitors are ranked in all right so if you do want to get helium 10 once again the link is below this video you will get a little bit of discount by using the coupon code but what I recommend you guys do is instead of getting the entire Helium 10 suite, because you're not going to use any other tool except for Cerebro. Uh, so it's a little tricky to get to this section, but I believe you can sign up for free. So go on the link below this video, click on sign up for free, create your account for free. And then from there, you can add Cerebro as a a la carte option and just buy Cerebro. So I think that's about $30, $40 a month compared to $84 a month. So you can get Cerebro only for much cheaper. Make sure to use a coupon code so it's a little cheaper uh, that way as well. And that is how you can get Cerebro and use it for your publishing business. All right, so the last one is BookBeam. So BookBeam is fairly new compared to the other tools, but I think BookBeam offers a feature that is better than any other tool out there. And that is the niche finder. So BookBeam... I did a more uh, comprehensive review on BookBeam on another video. So if you guys want to check that out, go search on my channel. But BookBeam essentially is Katie Spy and Publisher Rocket combined and a little more. Uh, and that little extra features that no other tool has is basically this one, the Niche Finder. And the Niche Finder is extremely powerful because it's the easiest way to do keyword research. Okay. So let's say you want to find best-selling books on uh, word searches here. So we're going to type in the keyword word search, and we're going to say we want to find books only uh, that has max 30,000 BSR, because anything higher is not that, you know, not selling as well. And also we want to find 
books that are selling very well with low reviews because that'll show that we can compete with them. So let's say we want something with less than 50 reviews. From there, you can filter even more, but we'll just click on find books here. And you can see that three of these books, uh, so in this case, we only got three, usually with you know different searches we get way more uh, in terms of the search results here. But we got these three books here, right? This book, Christmas Activity Book, uh, only has three reviews and the BSR is 1,608, which is crazy. So only with three reviews, it's selling extremely well. It's independently published. So that means, you know, if you're watching this before Christmas, you might want to go into a Christmas activity book for kids age 48 keyword, okay? Which includes word searches. Uh, and also this one, the ultimate brain games and puzzle book for teens, genius edition word search puzzles for kids. Uh, this one is a book on word search, right? And it only has 22 reviews and it's selling at 14,000 BSR. So that is how you can get ideas on what kind of books you can publish in extremely easily and basically instantly. So in terms of Bookbeam pricing, uh, it is also a monthly subscription. So that's the only downside with Bookbeam is that it is a monthly subscription instead of a one-time payment. And for that reason, you know, I think it's great for people who are already making money from publishing and they want to upgrade their tools. I think Bookbeam is perfect for that. Okay. So the link is below this video and there's also a little bit of coupon code that you guys can use. So here's the conclusion when it comes to what is the best tool. It really depends on where you're at and in your situation. But if you're in low content, then I recommend BookBolt because BookBolt is specifically for people who do low content. Okay. And if you are, you know, just getting started and if you don't have a ton of money, then the budget keyword research and category search tool is Publisher Rocket. So I recommend you start with Publisher Rocket. You can do the keyword research, you can get new categories, and it's just a one-time payment. Now, the best and most complete KDP tool out there is Bookbeam, in my opinion. This replaces basically everything, uh, Helium 10, Publisher Rocket, KD Spy except for BookBolt because BookBolt is low content and it's a little different, okay? You can use BookBeam to research low content, but you cannot use BookBeam to actually create the, the low content pages, the puzzles, etc. at least for now. Maybe in the future they will add that. And if you want an advanced keyword research tool like Cerebro, then Helium 10 is the way to go. So that is my honest review. I basically use all of them, but the one that I use the most is BookBeam. And I genuinely believe that Bookbeam is probably the best tool out there, at least for now. So once again, if you guys want to grab any of those tools, the link is below this video. And uh, that is it for the video. So hope you enjoyed this. Uh, before you go, I want to invite you to join my free Facebook group mastermind. It's 100% free. You can join and ask any questions you want, as well as network with other publishers. And just by joining, you're going to get a free bonus, which is a case study on how to generate lasting income on Amazon KDP through what I coin as book stacking. So this is basically how I went from zero to $35,000 a month, every single month from my publishing business. Uh, so the link is below the description. And if you want to check out my complete publishing course, then the link is also in the description. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't yet. So if you guys want to ask me any questions, let me know in the comments and I might respond. So. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.